The Rochester City School District's Board of Education voted to adopt next year's spending plan during last night's special meeting. While the budget is balanced this year, federal pandemic relief funds are helping out and there is some concern for future budgets. Isabel Garcia joins us now in the newsroom with more Isabel. Yes, good evening to you, Adam. This is the first time in history the budget has exceeded $1 billion, with even more funds coming from the American Rescue Plan. And although several board members noted it was an atypical, smooth process this year, there will certainly be difficult decisions in the years ahead. The Rochester School Board of Education unanimously approving the district's budget for the 2023-2024 year unanimously Tuesday night. It calls for a more than $1 billion spending plan, the first time in district history, with $5 million used in appropriated fund balance to close the budget gap. It's an increase of more than 4% compared to last year's budget, with a major focus on student mental health and expanding food access to families. I will say that I'm relatively pleased at some of the changes that we're seeing in support of increasing the SEL supports or social emotional learning for our students. Um, I'm really pleased at efforts that we've been making as a board and a district in terms of food service improvements. Um, we have a ways to go, um, but these are some highlights. State appointed monitor Dr. Shelley Jalla was involved in this year's budget process. First appointed in 2020, she is tasked with guiding the district in a more financially stable direction after it had faced millions in budget deficits. Although this year's budget season is being described as rarely smooth, it is being cautioned to prepare for hard decisions in years ahead. Many of the concerns raised tonight are concerns that I have. Um, but I am willing to support the budget with the understanding and the confidence in the administration that they will address things like how the budget book looks, what the long-range plan uh, is formulating to be, um, how you're using your ARP dollars, um, how those different programs that are being funded by ARP are going to be monitored. And ARP, of course, meaning American Rescue Plan. And a request that the superintendent, Dr. Carmine Peluso, noted he received from the state education department is that they're asking for the district to continuously check and update their long-range financial plan looking ahead five years out. So we will send it back to you for now at the desk. Adam. Isabel, thank you. The district's adopted budget will now go to a city council vote over on June 20th.